told you so, when Kwabena Jones was coming from Nigeria to Ghana, you know, he, he was in this old school aircraft, and we were pushing the, the food. So I said, oh, so this, is, this thing is not new. Then I saw the fashion of the policeman. So I knew that, oh, so Ghana, the policeman used to wear shorts and long socks. The music, I heard Bob Cole. So in the 70s, this was how they used to structure their music. All in one film. Language, we've evolved in how we speak. They had their own way of speaking in the 70s. Uh, so bro, bro. And then the popular song that some young musicians did a rendition for. And when he shouted, oh yeah, dear, yeah. so that song actually came from that time. And just about five or seven years ago, some young musicians don't sing, did another version of the same song. History could always be taken from film. So this is the soft side I've always seen with film. Most of the time people look at the money and all of that, yes, but I see this. So for a country, or even Africa, we should see film as a document that will help us and our children. I'm sure you're all reminiscing in some of the films you also saw, some of the old films that brought some memories. And you, you will learn. If you want to learn, you will learn. There's a popular song, when I, or there was, when I was growing up, Osei Vasco. And he said that, uh, Subi nightclub. Ah. So I asked my mom once, Ma, I was a nightclub DJ. I never knew Subi nightclub. I said, oh, no, no way. So it means there was a Subi nightclub at a time. And that's why we tell you that make sure that you, you add our culture when you are shooting. Because it will go a long way to help us. It is important to meet for this Africa Film Summit. Last year, I think um, at Mervyn Big President was there. It was a good event. I listened to some of the, uh, um, um, the people who spoke. I learned, uh, I learned every moment. So I learned, I went president left, I stayed for some time. I was about going for elections, so I was under pressure, so I was wondering if some of the things stayed, but I kept some. So it is important we meet and conversate on such issues. And I'm happy it is Africa, because we are beginning to take advantage of the African continental free trade area. Now it's a big market, and you know films is about numbers. So if we think Africa and begin to see that we have this population, we have just GDP and all of that, it is, it is the best for us. So the decision is good to think Africa. Juliet Asante and her team forwarded the document to us that they wanted a tax waiver for the film industry. It's gone to cabinet. It's gone to AG's office. AG has replied, asking some questions. I'm just coming from parliament. So we are discussing. But unfortunately, when it comes to um, governance issues, things that the private sector could do in weeks, with public service, it could take months. And so I just wanted to know that your sister your auntie, your mother is working hard to make sure that there's some relief for filmmakers. And stays for so many years. It's important for us to understand that the Africa Cinema Summit is something that has come, like the minister said, to document document our history, our culture, our people, everything about us. So that when we are not there, these seeds that we, we sow in today will generate for succeeding generations to really come to know and understand 
that there lived in this country some people who took particular interest in the development of the film industry. And that is why the board of the National Film Authority is so proud of this activity. That we know that coming years, this summit will grow to a very big one that will really tell the world that Africa, they say, always has the newest thing to come. We have studied this, and as we go along, it will be great for every African to be part of this, and for it to really stay and have that effect. We who have studied it must make sure that we water the garden so that everything that we've sown can germinate and grow and develop into a very big tree, very big something that will save all of us. On behalf of the Secretariat of uh, the National Film Authority, on behalf of the Board of the National Film Authority, on behalf of the Ministry of Tourism, Arts and Culture, I have the greatest pleasure to declare the Africa Cinema Summit 2024 duly opened. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Well, um, cinema brings a lot. Cinema is a form of family entertainment. So if I'm looking to go out, what are one of the places I can think about going? Cinema is one of the cheapest form of entertainment. So if I have a family of five or four or whatever, and I'm thinking to go to the cinema, it might be cheaper and more entertaining than if I went to a restaurant and spent money. So cinema is critical in that space. As well, we should also understand that when what does cinema do? It shows the movies that are made by Ghanaians. Maybe even your brother or your sister or someone you know is a filmmaker. If they make money, if they grow because they have access to cinema, your family will also grow. Beyond that, Ghanaians tell the Ghanaian story. And so as a country, we need our stories to permeate, to, you know, to kind of permeate our environment, to kind of be a way that we can a vehicle that can push our culture forward, not just for Ghana, but for all of Africa and all of the world. So it behoves on the Ghanaian to support the Ghanaian filmmaker and the Ghanaian film industry to grow because that in turn will bring a lot of employment as well. You know, according to the UNESCO uh, uh, report, the film space and the creative space is one of is the largest employer on the continent and so we need to encourage the film sector to grow i'm sure we all when we see other countries films on our networks as well as on platforms at cinemas uh, on vod platforms like netflix and amazon and all we are excited but you see those countries got there because their country folks supported them and that's what we are asking Ghanaians to support the film industry to grow I'm a co-founder of the Formals Group, which is a uh, uh, media entertainment company out of Nigeria. Um, but I'm a proud uh, member of the advisory board. I'm a proud member of the advisory board of the Africa Cinema Summit, which is an initiative of the National Film Authority of Ghana. Uh, I have to say that this is such a well put together event. Um, and one of the things I'm happy about it is Ghana is leading the way in having the conversation about the gap we have in the industry when it comes to cinema business. And not cinema just as a business, but cinema as a voice of those fantastic storytellers in various parts of the continent, starting with Ghana. Um, and Ghana is a rich center of culture. It's a rich center of huge history and, and stories that are untold. It's a very peaceful, um, um, a very, very accommodating country, and judging by the first and successful one, you know, uh, it's 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 the, one of the best places in the world to have this kind of event. And you know, you asked about what's happening about the Ghana film industry. It's important that an event like this is held here for us to say, once upon a time, the Ghana industry, film industry, ruled in Africa, was traveling across Africa, was also even traveling the world, what happened? And it's also important for us to then say, it doesn't have to be history. We can 
change things. We can make things happen again. And what I'm happy about is by the time we start looking to attract investments and build out more platforms, it will encourage people to also make investments to make more films. And I believe that one step at a time, we'll get to a situation where the glory days of Ghana film industry will come again. But we do it one step at a time. Africa Cinema Summit being successful and now filmmakers participating and then they'll be able to tell the films that will not only do well in Ghana, but do well across other African countries. Thank you. Please again. My name is Moses Babatope. I'm the co-founder of the Film House Group. Thank you. Yes.